What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for, for future readings. This is a free channel collective reading capsule side everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. I received another channeling, so I'm here to say in. Um, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out. No Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to do not donate. I do not publicly lose. Ah, I can't speak. I do not publicly display your name or how much you donate if you choose to donate through my PayPal. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,220 subscribers right now. So thanks so much. I appreciate it so much. If you think anyone else could benefit from the channel or the messages, uh, please feel free to share my channel um, on social media or word of mouth. I'd very much appreciate it. Okay, so um, the channel message I received was um, someone's family was spreading that they were depressed um, for very strategic reasons so they would not get job opportunities or so they would not get money. They were trying to uh, they were trying to hide the fact of stolen money. However, it's about to seriously backfire on them in a huge, huge, huge way. That's what I heard. Um, I wasn't gonna just hold this one because y'all know some of the messages I hold. If I don't feel they're very, um, you know, like the reader that gained abilities and all that, I held it for like three days. The, and the reader was hiding abilities. This one is important, so I'm offloading it now. Um, that's pretty crazy. Somebody isn't, somebody's family is very toxic. I just want to make that very clear. Somebody's family is very, very, very toxic. Um, trying to block her job opportunities, block money from them, and knew they, somebody, either the family stole money from them or other people stole money from them, or maybe in some cases both. That's a toxic family if I've ever heard it, and that's just the truth. You should want peace and tranquility and growth and blessings for all members of your family, not just the ones that you want those blessings for. Every single member, communal, period, period, point blank. But this family is not like that. They're very um, hypocritical. They're very, um, they target individuals in their family and they bully individuals in their family, apparently. Um, but I heard it's about to seriously um, backfire on them in a huge way. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates, whoever, whoever's family this is, this could be your family or somebody you're connected to his family, but somebody's family is very, very, very toxic. I'll tell you that just straight up, straight, straight, straight up. Um, they're either bullying or targeting you or somebody you're connected to that is a member of this family. Um, I heard they were, so they were defaming this person's character. They were intentionally, it sounds like publicly saying this person was depressed and they, um, intentionally they were de saying it that they were depressed and defamed cred credentials and defamed credentials is what i heard oh my god so they did the most they said uh, you were depressed um you uh for some they could have said you had other mental health issues i didn't hear that but maybe um and they defamed your credentials like your professional credentials Wow, somebody's in a toxic family. Holy crap. Um, but I heard it was all to block your opportunities, all to block your work opportunities, your um, oh, your work opportunities, your um, money that was supposed to have been given to you, and um, to hide the fact of stolen money from you. So, I mean, they do, they've done the most. They've done the most, basically. They have done the freaking most. So you plug it in, how it resonates. That is terrible. That's really st terrible is what it is. I heard it's about to seriously backfire on them. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Attraction, number 44, could be a very significant number in one's life, number 44. You are most certainly not depressed. You are the one driving force of the family. Now it is, energies have completely shifted. 
you are away from this family and now th they are the super depressed ones they know what they have done they are about to experience very heavy negative karma oh my lord do you plug it in how it resonates so i heard you're not the depressed one you're not the depressed one they are they're the depressed ones and but they were basically trying to project project their energy onto you basically um through other people because they didn't want you to do well because i think they knew well yeah i think they knew that you were that you were the driving force of the family i heard you were oh that you are you're driving force of the family but you're separated from them so you have Estrange yourself from them is what I'm feeling. I heard you block, blocked your energy. The energy's been blocked. So I feel you've estranged yourself from them. Um, it sounds like you have. I mean, it sounds like the right thing to do. Um, sounds like you've estranged yourself from them, but they were publicly saying you were depressed, defamation of character, um, defaming your credentials, professional credentials, saying you were depressed, trying to uh, blocking your job opportunities, blocking your career opportunities, blocking money that was supposed to come to you and hiding the fact of stolen money from you. I mean, doing the damn most, but you were the driving force of the family and now they're depressed. Um, well, they basically destroyed everything that was good in their family. <laughs> I mean, what? That makes, that makes no sense. It makes no sense. Um, this could be you or somebody you're connected to, but I mean, I would say I feel sorry for this family, but honestly I don't because they shouldn't have done what they did. They shouldn't have done what they did. Um, they should have left you alone, let you be happy, let you be free, and let you go live life and fulfill your destiny and purpose besides putting blockages and delays and lies out into the universe. It would, I'm sure it would have benefited them too, but they didn't, they just didn't want you to do well. All they saw was jealousy. All they saw was greed, apparently. But now it's about to energetically boomerang back on them in a negative way. Attraction. You are about to really be in your life purpose soon through many shocking series of chain of events. And all the people that spited you in the past, they're, uh, they're about to be forced to watch it. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful for you. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So I heard you're about to be really be in your life purpose. So um, I think you are attracting people. I think you're attractive. Um, yeah, I think you take care of yourself, self-love with the attraction, but I think you were attracting um, healthy people into your life is what I'm thinking, um, or at least hopefully. Hopefully you're attracting healthy people into your life, um, um, positive, copacetic people that will help build and grow you, or you help build and grow them, um, or mutual, um, not energy succubuses, people that just want to take, take, take like this very toxic ass family group. Somebody has a very toxic ass family, whoever you are, you have a toxic family, but you know you do. So you have separated away from the toxic family to better yourself. And absolutely, you have to do what's best for you. Absolutely. Sorry, my tooth hurts a little bit. I apologize. Um, but yeah, you have to do what's best for you. Absolutely. So um, I think this is you attracting positive copacetic people into your life, hopefully in a positive copacetic manner. Um, I heard um, positive things are about to happen to you through many shocking series of chain of events. Um, and basically all the people in your past that have spited you, I think the people that have stolen money from you, I think your toxic family knows other people outside your toxic family and stolen money from you. I think toxic people inside your family stolen money from you and toxic people outside your family stolen money from you. But they know this. They know this. Um, but now they have to live with the choices they made, basically. They have to live with the choices they have made. Slandering and defaming your character, um, talking you into the ground to prevent job opportunities to come to you. And um, I heard job opportunities that should have come to you. 
money that should have come to you and knowing free willingly knowing people have stole from you i mean would they appreciate that if somebody did that to them absolutely not absolutely not so i mean honestly that's their karma in all seriousness that's their karma and that's something they're going to have to live with um because that is the choice they made or the choices they made but i heard basically the people of your past all the ones that spited you all the ones that um down talked you talked about you um ran your name into the ground probably with your toxic family stole money from you treated you like crap they're about to have to watch you basically be successful and move on in a very happy prosperous prosperous way because um because of all the negative choices they have made in the past so i think this is attraction towards the universe in a very positive copacetic way something very positive is about to happen to you if this resonates for you something very positive is about to happen to you i feel several positive things probably for some of you guys um, only you know your story, not anybody else. We have 12,210 of you guys on here. So you have to only take the messages that resonate with you for your own individual story and life situation and leave the rest. Um, but attracting positive things into your life is what I'm feeling here. Um, that's what I'm feeling. For some, it could be a new love interest, possibly. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that, but possibly. Uh, we do have the attraction card, but I'm feeling attractive, positive, attracting positive copacetic things into your life positive energy is what i'm feeling here for some it could be um a new relationship possibly for some i didn't hear that but possibly Spirit messages you have to Okay, well, I heard get another one. Spirit messages you have reflected. Somebody is very physically attracted to you. We got this out yesterday. Okay. Hiding feelings in a huge, huge, huge way. Huge way. Oh my God, this is what I just heard. Hiding feelings in a huge, huge, huge way. Um, and that would make sense with the cards. Oh my God, it's all over the place in here. Okay. So you have a toxic family. You, Whoever you are, I feel you've went through some very heavy negative karma because other people have created it created it for you in the universe because they didn't want you to do well basically that i think they wanted for some if you um have dark arts people in your family witches witch doctors um voodooist hoodooist however that resonates and you know about it they could have been putting dark arts on you i mean i know i've got those kind of people in my family and i'm just for real for real um my my people are from the bayou the by freaking you and they know they know about all this crap uh, it's in our bloodlines, in our ancestry. Um, so I know it's in my family. Um, it may be in some of you guys' family too. I'm not sure. But um, however that resonates, I feel for some they could have been doing binding spells, is what I'm saying, in the past. And, and of course, um, defaming people's character and slandering people in public, that's a form of verbal manipulation and black magic when you um, lie on somebody. And that's just the truth. Um, for anybody doesn't know that, but number 35, 38, or 25 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 35, 38, or 25, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, possible um, lottery number, possible, yeah, 35, 38, 25. Um, we have attraction, the sexual, I'll call it the sexual sacral chakra, y'all know I do, which it is. It is. <laughs> Um, it's the sacral chakra, but it's the sexual sacral chakra. It just is for real, for real. Um, the heart chakra and the seat. I heard someone's really been um, keeping in the fact that they are basically very attracted to you. Um, so that would make sense with the deceit. Make sense. Make sense with the deceit. 
Um, they're hiding the fact they're extremely attracted to you, but which is this technically sexually attracted. And we have the attraction card. I mean, it's all over the place in here. I mean, all over the place. But uh, we have abundance on the bottom of that, by the way. Holy, it is all with change. Holy crap. You can't make this crap up. Wow. Let me show you. Wow. Abundance, uh, attraction, abundance, and change. That's what we got, man. I heard um, good things were coming to you basically in the career department soon. Through many shocking series of chain events. Um, I try, uh, abundance, money change, um, career change, maybe status change, um, and change. With the change, 555. Five, five. Oh my gosh. I, somebody I think is about to really um, get around the right people. I think you're about to get around the right people. And I am so serious about that. I'm very serious about that. Um, in a positive way. Um, I feel you bring a lot to the table. You absolutely bring a ton to the table. Absolutely. This person knows this, but they're not going to take advantage. Okay, I heard you absolutely bring a ton to the table. This person knows this, but they're not going to take advantage. So some somebody somebody finds you very attractive, I'll tell you that. Um, they're secretly hiding their feelings for you. Um, strategically, uh, for some, they may work with you. I didn't hear that they do, but they may, or they may want to work with you. However, that resonates. They either work with you or they may want to work with you. Now, whether you choose to date this person or not, if you were single, that is your free will choice now. Um, your free will choice. You, you don't have to date this person if you were single. You know, I hope everybody knows that. Don't feel pressured to date nobody you don't want to date, okay? Don't feel pressured to um, do anything in the love department, romance department, or sex department you don't want to do. Um I just want to disclaim with that, okay? Um, but you do have the heart chakra with it is what I was going to say. This is what we got. You have the heart chakra with it. So I think there tr is true feelings there. There is true feelings there. Like, I don't think it's all sex is what I'm saying. I don't think it's all sex and attraction. I think there are true heart chakra feelings because you got the fourth chakra, the heart chakra with it. Um, but they're hiding it from you. For some, you might be, you might have already picked up on the fact they might be attracted to you or they have feelings for you. You're just not saying it maybe for some, but they're hiding it from you. They haven't told you, um, how they feel. That's for Dag, I'm sure. So you plug it in, how it resonates. However that resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. Through many shocking series of chain of events, someone's career is about to take off in a very positive way. Okay, I heard through many shocking series of chain of events, someone's career is about to take off in a very positive way. So I think it's you, person that has estranged yourself away from your toxic family. Um, your toxic family has done nothing but drag you down. They've dragged, dragged you down. I think they wanted to keep you binded to them. 
stuck to them in a very toxic, unhealthy manner. Um, but it sounds like you have fought to get away from them, and it sounds like you've been successful. So now it's your time to shine, is what I'm feeling here. Um, and that's really beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, that's beautiful. It's sad that people act that way in toxic families. It's really sad. It's truly, truly, truly sad. You should want nothing but the best for your family. I don't care if they are low vibrational or not. A lot of my family members are low, low vibrational, but I just choose not to speak to them. I let them live their life um, because I can't control their actions or control them, nor would I want to. I can only control myself. So that's why I just choose not to speak to my toxic family. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I can't control me. You know what I'm saying? Now, as far as my kids, I obviously want nothing but the best for my kids, obviously. And I have proven that over the years. I've done nothing but try to provide the best opportunities for them. And um, within my scope and my power and my financial area, you know, to do so. Um, I love my kids with everything in me. Um, but I don't feel this is kids we're talking about here. I feel this is adults. And this is sad. This is real, real sad. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, but I heard basically, um, your career is about to take off through many shocking series of chain events. I think this person is about to have a lot to do with it. Now, whether they are in your career sector or they want to work with you or they just fancy you and they want to give you a leg up. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's a leg up energy or just, um, information or something but they're about, this person's about to help you out they're about to help you out however they're about to help you out um let me see if i hear anything they're about to help you out in some shape form or fashion now whether they work with you currently they want to work with you or something of that nature um let me see if i hear anything I didn't. I didn't. Okay. Well, spiritual realm only gives what the spiritual realm wants to give. Um, information coming to many, 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 many people soon. Many people. Important people. Okay. I heard information coming soon to basically a ton of many important people. So this person, I feel, is maybe they're, they're important. They're influential. Um, I feel they're high vibrational. Um, I didn't hear they were. I'm feeling they are or they're getting high vibrational. But information coming to basically a ton of important people soon. I think this person might be delivering it to a ton of important people soon. Whoever this person is and however they apply in your life. But I think they're about to help your career take off in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, whether you're this person or the person's career about to take off. Only you know your story, not anybody else. You have to plug yourself in where you resonate. But um this is really beautiful energy. It is, but um, the people in your past are basically going to have to basically um, watch you be successful. They're going to have to watch you be successful. Um, they did you so down and dirty in the past, but now they're going to have to be forced to watch. It sounds like you're going to be very much in the public eye, whoever you are, um, or it's going to be very well known you being successful, um, whoever you are. And um, it's basically like, I feel like freedom and weep energy. I didn't hear that. I kind of feel it like freedom and weep energy. Like they should have treated you better in the past. The people that stole from you in the past, your toxic family members and everybody in the past that did you wrong and dirty in the past, they're going to, it's like freedom and weep energy. They're going to have to look and see what they have done to you in the past and where you're going now and where they are, you know, um, kind of like reflection energy. Um, that's what I'm feeling. All right. Well, I love you guys so much. I hope this helped and namaste.